I wanted to quickly show how I have developed a Visual Studio Team Services automated build for my um, Ionic 2 application. This is actually a continuous build. That means every time I check in my code, this build is going to kick off. I've connected it to my repository, my GitHub repository. These are the steps in Visual Studio Team Services. Um, it basically works top down uh, of all the different, uh, the, they call them build steps. Um, and we'll just start at the top. The first one is it is connecting to my GitHub repo. It is getting my master branch um, source code. The next thing it's doing is after it's got all the source code from my repo, it's running a typical npm install, which is just restoring all the npm packages that um, I choose not to store my npm packages with. Um, that's everything under the, the node modules directory. I choose not to store them in my repo since they can automatically be um, restored. The second or the third thing here is this Ionic state reset. This is a part of the Ionic CLI that is restoring all the platforms like Android and iOS and is also restoring the the plugins like the splash screen plugin and the keyboard plugin um, it is doing it is restoring those because again that code is something that can be restored automatically uh, as part of my build I choose not to store that code in my repository um, the other thing I do uh, is restore the icon and splash screen images. Um, this is the things that if you create an icon or a splash screen in Photoshop and you you can have it automatically uploaded to Ionic and they will in turn uh, provide you with all the different density icons and splash screens for all the different types of styles of devices. Um, those are again things I uh, image resource image resources I don't want to store in my repo, so I have my build automatically restore them. Um, one of this one here is a little bit more custom for me. Um, I want my build to automatically increment my uh, Android version uh, or my application version in my uh, config.xml file, and I've created a Cordova hook that is hooked to the prepare event or prepare command, and so I run Ionic prepare and uh, it then in turn runs my uh, Cordova hook which is incrementing the version number found in the config.xml uh, manifest file. The, uh, the other thing it does is a very typical ionic build. Um, this um, is stuff you would normally run from a command prompt and it's just building the release configuration for my um, for my APK and it's it, this is the part that's going to um, I'm building the Android uh, version of my application. This is the part that's going to cr create a um, an APK file. In fact, the last step here, this copy publish artifacts, is saying at the end after the build, it's going to take things out of the output directory. It's going to say I'm going to take the APK. I'm going to take this key store file. I'll show you why I why I do that. And, I'll, and I'm also taking this uh, JSON file, this Google Play Android Developer authorization JSON file provided to me by Google Play. And the reason why I do that, so all this stuff is automatically rebuilding uh, my source code. The one thing I think I'm really missing in here is running unit tests, running tests on uh, my TypeScript or JavaScript, which I'm not really that great at um, yet. And so I'm really wanting to get some of that testing unit testing uh, part of my um, my build process but at the end of the build process I'm really given these three files I am uh, the my I want to release this new APK and I want to show you what that looks like I'm gonna go under builds and releases and under releases I'm gonna edit a build definition for this release and it kinda looks similar it's got a series of steps um, there's two of them one is it's signing the APK file. So what it does, it takes that unsigned uh, APK file and it signs it with jar signer. These are not my key store password. I, for the purpose of this video, I, I just changed this. But um, it signs the APK file. It also zip aligns it. 
And then the last thing it does is it releases it to the Google uh, Play Store under the beta track. So I've created a Google Google Play, uh, Google Developer Console, um, or Google Developer Application in my Dev Console, and uh, I've I've uploaded this APK to the beta. And so every time I check in code, my continuous integration and and this release, which is really continuous deployment, goes out to the beta track on um, on my Google Play Store. So hopefully, th this is probably just something I do. I don't know how many people use Visual Studio Team Services for building their Ionic applications, but I think it was pretty cool, and uh, I just wanted to kind of show it off a little bit. So hopefully, if you're looking for this or um, you found this interesting, maybe it'll help you out.